knocks the dust right off his cleats. The roaring crowd comes to its feet. The pitcher's knees are getting weak. Then the announcer begins to speak. It's number nine for the Boston Red Sox. The splendid splinter steps into the box. The greatest hitter that ever was. Nobody does it like the bumper does. The MVP and the triple crown. Not once but twice in Boston town. A real hero with a B on his cap. The splendid splinter steps up the bat. A fighter pilot in World War II. 39 combat missions in Korea too. He's all American. He's our man. So be like Ted and be the best that you can. He's in the Fisherman's Hall of Fame. He's the greatest in America's game. He's a soldier. He's a hero marine. But on the field, he's a hitting machine. The crowd's cheering 'cause they just can't wait. The splendid splinter steps up to the plate. He batted 406 and 41. A feat that since no other player has done. He's got on base 84 games in a row. But when his country called, the kid had to go. His greatest saying, it was a beauty. The splendid splinter reporting for duty. He could have had more records in time, but he was called to fight while in his prime. He always said that he had no regrets. And that's about as humble as it gets. We all wish we could be like that. The splendid splinter really came up the bat. He hit a homer in his last time at bat. How many players make a claim like that? Feared by fish and loved by men. We'll never see another Ted Williams again. He gave up the ghost in 2002 and left behind a legacy equal by few. A father, a hero, a baseball name, a credit to the Cooperstown Hall of Fame. So old Saint Peter calls a father and states, "The splendid splinter has stepped up to the pearly gates."